placement management system. So it is web based ERP for placement management. Let's see in detail. This is a home page for placement studio. We have three users for this system, which are student, training and placement officer, and training and placement coordinator. We provide this much features. These are the companies which hire in our college. We have provided register as student link. We can register any student through this link. Whenever we register any user, let's see. I'm going to add my email address because after registration, the student will send a email verification mail. OTP is sent to our mail ID. So this is it. Let's copy this OTP and press send this window. When OTP is verified, user is taken to the home page again. And we have to go through uh, specific login sections. So if we are a student, we have to go through student login section. If we are a TPO, we have to go through TPO login section. If we are a TPC, we have to go through TPC login section. Any user can't go through any other else section. It will, the system will restrict the user. So if I'm a student, I will have to go through the student login. Other users like TPO and TPC are registered by ourselves, by admins. So they, need, they don't need to register by themselves. Only student need to register by themselves. So for login, I'm using already register account. So here we see three sections, dashboard, placement report, and top recruiters. In placement report section, we can see placement count for different departments. In top recruiter section, we can see companies which come for hiring for that particular year. In dashboard, student will be directed to its personal dashboard. Here in my profile, we uh, see student profile information, which is uh, important information. Also, we can see the uh, percentage of filling the information. Then we have profile verification status. Here in this system, uh, each student profile is uh, verified by TPC, that is training and placement coordinator. Whenever the uh, profile is verified by uh, TPC for any student, that particular uh, information is displayed in profile verification status. So here we can see your profile is verified. It means uh, our uh, this is say, uh, my profile information is visible to TPC and he has verified it on the information of that particular student. So whenever we are um, whenever our profile is verified. We cannot make any changes to our uh, information. We have different forms like personal information and career choice, address. We have different forms to take information of students related to academics, personal, extracurricular. So here we have current course. We have different types of forms. It is not mandatory to fill each and every form, only those forms which are uh, provided with star note are mandatory fields which should be filled by the student. We have different other sections like uh, extracurricular information which can be filled by students. 
on inter experience position of responsibility projects extracurricular activities also research paper details can be filled by students then after filling all this kind of information we can generate resume by this with the help of this system we just have to click on generate resume and the resume for that student will be generated by the system itself we have this specific template and all the entered information is uh, displayed in this format even students as well as tpc and tpo as well can download this resume for placement purpose or any other purpose we can uh, download it as per our um, requirement and the resume will be downloaded and see it here then we have student document section in this we can see documents uploaded by by, by student student itself can see these documents which are uploaded by him or her even student as well as tpc can see these documents and tpo as well can see these documents and they can download this also even the particular student can download it from here if if it is lost by some condition then we have placement enrollments in this section we can apply for uh, different companies which are uh, going to arrive for that particular uh, year here we don't have any company as a user for different companies so here only during process, placement process for whichever companies we have applied or went through the process we have to apply for these companies in front of that name so that tpc will come to know that which for which companies we had applied during placement process we can apply it like this for whatever companies are there in the list and for which we have applied or gone through the process then we have upload offer letters section here we uh, mention company name number of years of bond packages offered by that company and uh, along with that we also upload offer letter here so that tpc can see every, all the detail regarding to the placement uh, process for that particular uh, student as well as he can see offer letter he can download offer letter and students can upload multiple offer letters multiple company details in this section then we have notice section in this we can see notices uploaded by uh, tpc as well as tpo along with the dates then we have alumni feedback after placement process finished in, during last year students can provide feedback accord, according to their satisfaction through these emos so if student is happy with this system he or she can give feedback along with that emojis also one more thing if uh, profile is verified student can't make any changes to his profile we can see there we cannot make any changes the fields are blocked fields will be blocked forms will be blocked it will be freeze by uh, by the system if the profile is verified it means we don't need to make any modifications to the um, information it is uh, okay okay this is uh, so in order to make any changes if we want to make any alteration we need to make in make request to make changes in the profile and once request is made we this button will also be blocked so i have already clicked on requested to make changes profile so after making request this request will be sent to tpc if when until and unless tpc ex, uh, accepts that request we will not be able to make any changes to our profile once it once he or she accepts the request we will be able to make changes and uh, until that till we make any changes here it will be displayed that profile is not verified so after uh, making any changes again tpc can uh, verify your profile this is how student section looks so let's see first how tpc can do that but in detail we will see it in another video here we also have notification section whatever companies are added by tpc or tpo you can see it in this notification section now let's log out we will have to go to home we cannot directly log in for tpc just go to home go through 
to TPC section. So you have to log in by TPC account. So TPC credential. Same things we have in TPC section also in dashboard. Right now, I'm not going to show everything. We are going to see student request section. Here we are going to get requests from students. First of all, we need to enter batch year. Then only we are going to see the details. So we are able to see this that we have accepted the we have received the request from that student. That is that is what we have just now requested for profile changes. When we accept this. We will, make, we, we will be able to make changes in our profile. So let's log out again. Go to the home. Then we will go to student login. Let's do our login by student credentials. Now we can see your profile is not verified yet means now i can make changes to my profile i can edit my information whatever i want i can add it to any forms and then after whatever amount of time when i edit those tpc will again verify it and then i will be able to see here that your profile is verified and again, there will be the button will be visible request to make changes. So this is how student uh, section looks like. Other other sections which are TPO and TPC we will see in another video. Till then, uh, thank you. Bye bye. Please subscribe my channel. Thanks for watching.